Conventional computers are like Swiss Army knives. They can solve a number of different problems, but they aren't efficient at solving every problem. Analyzing big data or social networks, understanding how the brain works, studying how diseases spread, all of these rely on navigating complicated networks. When your computer tries to solve these problems, it's inefficient, and it just doesn't do the job well. Researchers at NIST have advanced a new computing technique called race logic. Race logic encodes information with time signals, which race each other through the circuit. First one to reach the end of the circuit wins, and the computer learns how to solve that particular problem. To understand how this works, think about navigating across the city. There are a lot of possible routes, but which one is the best? One way to find out is to send an individual car down every possible road. Even if you send several drivers, it takes a lot of time and a lot of gas to get every driver to the end and determine the best route. This is how a conventional computer figures out a solution. It lets each car go from point A to point B. At the end, it calculates each car's travel time and identifies the fastest route. But all these calculations can consume a lot of energy. On the other hand, race logic is like navigating the city by timing all of your drivers while they're on the road. All of the drivers take off in different paths, racing each other to the end destination. Cars that are falling behind in the race stop until only one car remains at the end. In race logic, a computer halts its calculations on the slowpoke cars, saving energy. And the computer gets a solution more efficiently than it would with conventional computing. Using race logic, NIST researchers can create microchips to help computers solve some of our most complicated problems using less energy, which is better for our planet. Learn more about race logic at www.nist.gov.